Sure. So the the male female stats really don't change, and and the age is kind of expanding as well. But what I will say is that the the stat for 2015 is that. 20% of all US internet users are on Twitter. So it looks like in our room, we've got a little more than that. It, it almost looked like half. But you can see that the trend is growing. And they, they're also projecting that by 2016, it'll be almost to 25%. So it's growing exponentially. What I'll also say is um, the average Twitter user follows over five businesses on Twitter. So it's definitely a place for your business to be because Twitter isn't just like Facebook where people really only want to connect with their friends and family. I'll say personally, I went through a huge Facebook rehaul. I had almost 5,000 Facebook friends. I have it down now to under 400. And you know, it's really only friends and family that I know and really want to interact with. And, and that's kind of the way Facebook is going. And Twitter is where I really want to establish thought leadership. Um, in, the, in the branding business education series that Lori presented next month, she talked last month, she talked a lot about personal branding. And that goes hand in hand with social media. People are actually more likely to follow the owner or CEO of a company than the company itself. Because they want to hear what that person has to say. You know, what does the mind behind this business have to say? And so establishing your authority on social media as an individual is very important. It's why LinkedIn is, you know, 100%. If you're not on LinkedIn, you need to be on LinkedIn by the end of the week. And, and Twitter is, is a close second, in, in my opinion.